What do you know? It went in. <laughs> well, how are you guys doing? I am Bobby Slam Duncan, and this is the Cool Euro League show. Today we have a packed show for you, and I'm just going to let you have a little sneak peek. Yes, they are our guests for tonight, Ioannis Papa Petru and Kostas Papa Nicolaou. Papa Petru, Papa Nicolaou, Papa Petru, Papa don't preach, I'm in trouble deep with um, that joke, definitely. Anyway, I know this is only our third show of the season and I dare say the Cool EuroLeague show is a big hit. Everybody loves the show, what can I say? Well, okay, may maybe not everybody. You see, we have a comment here from Yolo Yoladis and he says that he thinks the show is boring and has too much blah, 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 blah. Damn, you know, I knew we had too much blah, YOLO, and I promise we can change that. So how about this? From now on, it's just music and dance and zero blah, all movement, get ready for blah, blah land. Not bad, right? Only one negative comment in the entire internet. Well, okay, maybe there are a few more. Never seen a guy like that bald guy in shorts, neither in Europe nor in Turkey. It looks very American. The Americans may love this, but to me, you don't need to be funny. Just do an interview, and that'll do. And Django needs speak normal. Django needs speak normal. You know, I gotta say to all of this, um, it's just slightly confusing to me, especially bearing in mind that the last time I checked, Django was Serbian. Maybe Serbian people don't usually wear shorts. What do you say, Django? What? I don't speak normal. I don't speak normal, you Come here and tell to me in the face. Yeah, sorry about that. He's, uh, he's a little confused too. Uh, let, let, let's see more nice tweets. Then British trying to talk about basketball. I just want to puke. Also, it's obvious that guy has no idea about European basketball because of his pronunciation. Hmm. Now, I'm British? Really, people, get your nationality straight, please. I can accept to be British, you know, that's nice. They're, they're nice people. Uh, but what's wrong with my pronunciation? Tornike Shengala Boyan Dubeyovic Dubeyovic Drazen Petrovic Hang on, can we just get a... I gotta... Maccabees Mask, sorry. Busia? Boysia. Boysia. Jasevekius. Did I say it bad? Jasikevichus. 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 Kevichus, Yassi Kevichus, Yassi Kevichus. All right, see, it's perfect, right? So uh, <clears throat> let's move on to Sam Meyerkoff here, who tweeted, "Wait, Euroleague put out cool Euroleague show, which is a joke, and someone stole my Slam nickname. Ten years ago, it's Slam and Freak Nick's Euroleague Adventures. We were putting out better videos on a flip cam six years ago. How did this show get made?" Well, kill me, okay? You know, I don't get this. We're boring or too funny, too British, too American. And I stole Sam Meyerkoff's nickname because obviously it's so hard to come up with. Slam is a nickname in a show about basketball. Sam, you know, heck, you just added an L to your name. Seriously, get over it, okay? I've had enough of this. You, Slam, Sam, why don't we settle this at the final four? I'll send a diplomatic representative and we can settle this in a civilized manner. Who gets to keep the nickname? What do you say? A game of horse? There you go. Pardon the pun, but the ball is in your court. Wham bam. Thank you, Sam. Okay, so now we have agreed that we are the worst thing to happen to Europe since, well, maybe since Eurovision. Can we at least find one guy who appreciates the show? Just one guy. Like Cheska Moscow, power forward Kyle Hines, who tweeted this. Just watched the first episode of Cool EuroLeague show. Quite funny. Especially the roast the player. Great job at EuroLeague. Wow. Thank you, Kyle. Big hugs, buddy. Big hugs. Thank you so much. I take it you are the only one out there watching me, blah, blah, blah. So uh, let me talk to you directly. Hey, Kyle. How's it going? How you doing, man? Check this out. Today we have not only one, but two great guests you probably know well. Ioannis Papa Petru and Costas Papa Nicolau from Olympiacos Pireus. We've also got our classic segments, Roast the Player and Tragic Moments, and a report by Django. If that is not enough, I'm gonna do like Nice. So, Kyle, finish up your tweeting about how much you love the show. Put your phone down and settle in because we are about to start. Welcome to the Cool Euro League show presented by Seven Days, the number one croissant in the world. Enjoy it, Kyle. Can you guys hear that music? 
It can only mean one thing. Our Greek guests are ready. Help me welcome to the show, Ioannis Papapetrou and Kostas Papanikolaou. Gentlemen, come on out of here. Welcome to the cool EuroLeague show. How you doing, gentlemen? Have a seat right there. How are you guys doing? Great. Everything good? Great. Yeah? I'm nervous. You're nervous? What are you gonna do to us? I'm, I'm not gonna do anything to you guys. Maybe just asking you guys a, a couple of questions here. Um, there are as many as nine Greek players on, on your team, which is a uh, rarity nowadays. Uh, do you think that has something to do with your success as a team? Uh, I think it's uh, the most important for our team that we have a core of players that, uh, especially Greek players, you know, that has been there for many, many years. Uh, Vasilis, Yorgos, Vagelis, and myself with a small period, you know, of uh, missing. We are there together from 2012. And also we had guys, you know, coming in like Ioannis, like uh, Dimitris Agravanis, and younger players, and we, we add those guys to the core, so we have a continuity, you know, and I think that's, that's very important for the team because then whoever gets into the team, we know we have a lot of players who can talk to them, you know, and right. to, to make them understand how is the situation, and I think it's a very important thing for our team. Mm -hmm. do, you guys, do you read each other's thoughts? All the time. All the time? All the time. Yeah. Yes, very important because Greek guys know the tradition and they know what the team is about and, you know, it's, it's easier to help the newcomers to adjust and uh, that's why we keep the same core and they do a great job, the presidents, and we continue like this. And you guys probably have the, the, the best defense on the continent. Would you agree? One of the best. One of the best? How do, one of the best. How do you guys train for that? I think it's a matter of willing, you know, to, to do the the hard job, you know, like to, to, to make the difference. And basketball is not only about scoring points, it's not only about, you know, making plays, it's about doing the, the small things on the court, it's about playing defense, it's about getting rebounds, it's about uh, helping your teammate, you know, in a, in a play that he might be in a difficult situation. It's small things that, you know, make a team come, come together and these small things is what can make a team successful or not successful. And uh, in our team, we're trying to, to, to emphasize a lot on those things. And that's why the, the past few years, we, Olympiakos is keep doing successes, you know, and is keep uh, being on a final force and playing good and uh, winning titles also. And what's it like to play with a, a legend like Vasilis Spanoulas? What, what, what is that like? It's great. Uh, I mean, Costas play more years with him, but uh, me coming in as a, as a young kid, you know, uh, I feel like it's a great, role model for me and for the whole team. You know, his work ethic and uh, his leadership is unbelievable. Mm -hmm. uh, he wants to win, you know, more than anybody else. And uh, I feel like this transformed to and, and, and carries on to the rest of the team. He's got tons of charisma, you know, he's a natural leader, but there's gotta be something that this guy is not good at. Is there, is, I mean, does he show up late to games? Is he a bad cook? Does he snow? What, is there anything you can tell us about him that, that he's not good at? Not good at? He's not good at jokes. And, ah. and, and not singing. You haven't seen the video of him singing? No. Oh, uh, you guys gotta find that. Yeah. Here is your king. No kneel and bow. To all your rookies, come to my crown. Well, it's an idea if you guys invite him okay. at some point here, make him sing. Who did you guys look up to growing up as basketball players? I mean, I had the chance, you know, like, to, to be old enough to, to be able to follow what happened in 2005 and 2006 with Greek national team that uh, they won the European Championship and then they came second in the World Championship in Japan. So all these guys, you know, for me was, a, was like a heroes, you know, and having the chance to, to work with them or play against them uh, a couple of years later, you know, it was the best thing I could ever imagine, you know, it gave a purpose to myself, you know, work, to work hard and maybe to be able to be on on their level one day. You want us, your nickname is Poppy. And Kostas, when, when you were in the NBA, you were also known as K-pop. Um, if you guys had to choose your own nicknames, what would you guys choose? It's great. I think Poppy is great. Like Poppy? They both call us Pop too. Because of our last name, you know, we have similar last names and uh, they call us Pop, Pop Brothers together. So I think this so far is nice and uh, I missed you. But how would you define your, your role on your team? Um, I know where I am, you know, and I'm really happy 
uh, with everything that is going on on the team. You know, like I'm trying to do the best uh, that they ask me to do, and uh, I enjoy it. I always enjoy it. And the most important thing when it comes down to professional basketball and to making success, to be on a successful team, is uh, wins. When a team wins, everybody's happy. And uh, if you are smart enough to understand that you can do even the dirty job, you know, and your team win, this is when you're always going to have a job, you know, like on a high level. Ioannis, your role? I mean, same, you know, coming in to play such a big club and being young, you obviously need to do the dirty job, like Costa says, and uh, the things that the older guys, not they don't want to do, but they have bigger responsibilities and they do different stuff. So for me, you know, I always want to bring the energy. I want to come off the bench and uh, uh, be great defensively, first of all. And then, you know, uh, try to push the tempo, you know, change the rhythm of the game. And, uh... Uh, and gentlemen, would you guys dare to define the roles of your other teammates? Yeah. How about we take a look at this? Mm. OK, this is easy. This is the mind of the team. The mind. Yes. The brains. The brains. Yes. Uh huh. OK. He's the youngest kid in the team. He plays defense and more defense and more defense, I think, and energy. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Yorgos is a really hard worker, you know, for, who, for those who doesn't know him. He's the guy who comes in earlier than everybody. He get, get, gets out uh, later than everybody. He's working very hard. Um, and I think what I would give to him is the, the hard worker, I would say. He kind of looks like Tom Hanks from uh, Castaway, you know? It's like he's talking to, to that ball. You see that movie with uh, Tom Hanks, Castaway? Yeah, Where he's yeah, got his yes, little ball, yes, Wilson? Yes, he like he kind of looks like he's Wilson. <laughs> oh. oh, my God. Okay, unfortunately, he's injured, but uh, I think he, he's, he's one of the players normal. that he does all the dirty job. He goes hard to the rebounds, plays hard all the time. A dirty job guy. The I dirty job say. guy? Yes. I would call him the bully. He just bullies everybody. He bumps everybody, strong body, very stiff. I think he just bullies everybody. Aggressive defense, right? They're, yes. They're, uh -huh. This is our uh, Serbian tower. Mm -hmm. uh, he's a point of emphasis for us, you know, and uh, although he's in a young age, he's doing a great job for us, and uh, we're really lucky to have him. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. I mean, what can we say about him? He's a living legend for us, or what he does to the team. He's, uh, you know, a uh, very strange shot that he does, his way that he throws the ball and uh, uh, I would just call him the, the, a great uh, post player and uh, post threat, I guess. Mm, kind of looks like Django with all those tattoos right there, doesn't he? <laughs> no? Yes, he does. Uh, he's the experience. Like, uh, he's been played in high level for many, many years. He played in the NBA, he played in Brozer Barberg before, before he goes to NBA. Um, and all his experience, you know, he's been on the court and uh, he knows how to read the game and how to play the game and that's how I would call him the experience. There he is. Uh, you, you want us to be out of the team tomorrow? You <laughs> no, want us to come no, and you, coach? You can and, say whatever yeah. you want. That, that's a trap. Uh, I, I didn't expect that from you. Okay, he's the brain. Uh, he comes up with everything that we do, uh, the, the plan, uh, the roles. He's the, the, di the director, the general. Yes. Uh, that's for Mr. Thompson. Mr. Thompson. Very, very aggressive player, you know, with uh, a lot of ways to, to score. He has a really great touch with the, with the rim, and uh, his three-point shot is, is thrilling, you know. Uh -oh. I don't think we need to comment something about that. There's Kill Bill, yeah, we've, we've talked a lot. We, <laughs> we said we a lot about Kill him. Kill Bill quite well. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Looks a little menacing with that sword, I think, but... Yes. Uh, He's a little scary, but we all know about him. Legend, you know. Gentlemen, um, the Greeks seem to think that they've invented everything. Is that, is that true? Not everything, but... Many things? Many well, things, I things. believe. Many things. Well, how about we play a game related around that? Let's you guys want to do that? Yeah, sure. Yeah, we'll, yes. have we'll have a choice. Yes, you have no choice. <laughs> yeah, we did. Yes, let's do that. Well, let's play that. We will be right back. Okay, so this is how this is going to work, guys. Uh, I'm going to ask you uh, some questions. I'm going to uh, mention some, some words, and you have to tell me whether it was invented by a Greek or, or not. Lighthouses? Yes. You don't seem too sure? Is he right? I yes. Say yes. <laughs> he was right. He was right. He was right. Okay. Uh, the compass. Greek? Non-Greek. No. It is a no. It is non-Greek. Is, is, I think it's from Egypt. The Chinese invented the compass. I have it here, but... Yeah. Come mm. 
What about um, alarm clocks? I'm gonna have to take a guess here. Yes. This is true. It is, really? yes. Invented by the Greeks. Coin oh. money? Mm. Yes. Easy one. Yes. Ephestus. Mm -hmm. Very yes. good. Very good. How about this one? Tricky one, tricky one. Algebra. Ah. Yes. No. My guess, tricky. <laughs> What's this? This is easy. No. Yes. Persian. 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 Ah, it's, it's close. It's close. Know. It's close. Geometry, it's close. maybe. <clears throat> uh, what about noodles? Noodles? noodles. Asia. Have, Asia. Asia. Yeah, China, uh, Chinese. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Highways? Oh. Ah. No, he pushed it. <laughs> yeah, he pushed it. <laughs> Highways? Non Greek. Non Greek. Italy. The Romans. The Romans. The Romans. I the won. Romans. What about vending machines? Vending machines. I would say not Greek. I would have to look and I would have to say you are incorrect. And how about this? The last one. The shower. Greek or non Greek? Shower. Not Greek. Eh. I don't, you missed I don't it. Trust my you people. missed it. You missed it. I don't it. trust my people. No, but gentlemen, uh, great stuff. You guys do seem to know a lot about Greece and, and Greece inventions, Greek inventions, and non-Greek inventions. Thank you, gentlemen, so much for sticking around to help me out here with the uh, top five tragic moments. Coming in at position number five. Hi, hey, guys. Hey, no, 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 jangle, jangle. No, 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 no. I'm not going to let you interrupt <laughs> this segment we're having here with with Ioannis and Kostas. We want to peacefully enjoy the top five tragic moments. So please take your stuff elsewhere and. Uh, well, you're yeah. serious. I'm, I'm, I'm very serious. Time. Yeah. yeah. No more. Next time. Okay, we will see about that. Sorry. Uh, no worries. Yeah. We're doing real stuff here. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. I'm I'm, I'm so sorry. Uh, this guy's kind of uh, unpredictable, you know. Uh, where were we? We were uh, with the tragic moments, right? Yes. Right. Okay. Coming in at position number five, we have here the fastest foul in basketball history. In the initial jump, the only way to break this record would be to commit a foul while coming out of the tunnel. Have you guys ever experienced that before? Have you ever seen it? I mean, you guys were at this game, right? Have you ever seen anything like this before? No, no, it's, it was very strange for us, also, you know. It's almost like but, he wanted but, to do but, that, right? but, but the funniest thing is that Costas grabs the ball, he is happy I'm to go right, score a layup, he goes 100% score, score the layup, and they call a foul. <laughs> Just, uh, he's like just a it. resourceful guy taking Two advantage of the points. situation, right. huh? Uh, in, in, in fourth place, we have uh, Luka Doncic, the, the, the wonder boy. Uh, and he is stylish even when he tumbles behind an ad board. Ouch. Jesus, guys, what do you think of that? What do you, what do you, what do you guys think of that? It's probably uh, hurt a lot. It's, it's good hustle, but... He got style. Yeah, well, who, uh, maybe he got paid to do that crash into that. Yeah, maybe, maybe he got paid by the sponsors. Uh, don't know, don't know. Coming in at uh, third place, we have Tyler Honeycutt mm. driving to the basket by himself and by himself missing the dunk after the hoop blocks him. Oh man, you can almost hear the, the hoop saying to him, no, 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 not in my house, get out, oh! oh. Nice try, That's our nice game try. Too. Yes. Maybe bring a step ladder next time, no, so you can get a little higher. I don't think he needs one. <laughs> uh, and coming in in second place, we have Jason Granger in a Cinderella style play, losing his shoe in the middle of a play. And there he is picking it up. Honestly, uh, if I wore animal print sneakers like those, I would probably do my best to lose them too. <laughs> Johannes, are you into uh, animal prints? Uh, no. no, no, not in a basketball shoes. Come on, maybe to go out for a drink. But ah, okay. Not, not, not in a bikini basketball. either? No. No, okay. Uh, have you ever lost a shoe or kept playing uh, on like this? Either of the two of you guys? I have. Yeah? I have. Yeah, I haven't been before. Uh, let's move on and coming into finally number one. Uh, please uh, pay attention because the star of this play is not the player but the official. Watch this. Last second Ooh. of the game, Adrian Moorman receives the shoot the three pointer. And who is there to try and stop him but the official, too. of course. What, what, what do you guys do in that kind of situation? Do you, do you, do you swear? Do you, do you, does he say sorry? Well, technical foul to referee. <laughs> He's out. He, He's he, out. He, gets a, he gets a technical? Yeah. Just, if you score it, it's okay. He scored too. Yes. If you miss it, it's bad. Right, exactly. Yeah, that should be at a least, four, at should least be, a, be a four pointer at least, no? Yeah. At least you blame the referee. Maybe he was on the way, that's why I missed it. Well, gentlemen, uh, I appreciate that. That's all for the tragic moments today. And now, what do you guys say? Let's do something serious, something real. Uh, maybe you guys can uh, help me learn how to dance. 
What do you yeah, guys say to that? Can, I don't know if you're any good at dancing. We are not good, but we can try. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, be, you know, because uh, I don't know if you guys are any any good at dancing. But since this is probably the only time we'll have two Greek guys here on the show, uh, I need you guys to help me out with the shirtaki. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Can we do that? Sure. We can do that. All right. I want I want, I want to learn how to do this. So uh, uh, let, let, let's let's uh, maybe take my jacket off and. Uh... Yes, you, you go this way. You just follow us. Five easy steps. Come on, Bobby. Five steps. Okay, right. so we'll go. Right? Behind. Okay, you're behind. One right again. And then you go. Up, left. Up, up, up. I forgot this. Down. And then what, right. up the other one. Oh, and then yeah. again. Should I go? Same. Go. Up. Like this. Go. Right. Right. But this. <laughs> Opa. Opa. Yes. Let's go. Yes. Yes, there you go. Yes, see, Bobby. Yes, yes, yes. yes. And the faster it yes. goes the music, the faster yes. you have to go. Uh, sorry. Yes. So if it goes fast, oh. now you're gonna be tired. I got it. You got it. Yes. Okay. <laughs> and then it's a shoulder of Django at the end. Huh? And then it's a shoulder of Django. Yeah. I'm gonna do it. Do, do. <laughs> I got lost. I got lost. Oh. Django. Go for it. Go for it. There you go. <laughs> Uh, gentlemen, thank you so much for being on the show. But before I let you guys go, I do want to uh, uh, help have you guys help me understand this Greek tradition. I still don't understand this about throwing the the plates. What is what is that? So, do you think we can do a little game uh, with the, the Greek plates here for a second? We could try. Yeah, yes, we can try. Uh, Django, won't you uh, come on out here, sir? They have accepted the challenge. Oh yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. Right. Well, here we are. Sir, well, this is for you. Uh, um, just to play it safe, gentlemen, put these on. Okay. I don't want uh, your coach getting mad at us. Okay. All right. You know, I also have some Greek blood. All right, let's put these things on. Yep. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to take these plates and we're going to make a, a slightly different variation. Not only throw them against the wall, but uh, if we get them into the hoop, uh, we're going to have teams. So uh, uh, why don't you pick the teams? I get Django. Okay, you got Django. It's so it's okay. me and you, Yonis. Okay. Um, good, good choice. Eh? Okay, gentlemen, you cannot cross Wait. this line. Same. You cannot cross this line. This is worth one point, and back here is worth, uh, we'll, we'll just say it's worth uh, two points. Okay, guys? From back? Uh, you oh. sure about yes. this? Oh. Are you sure about that? Yes. Yes. yes, I know what I'm doing. Okay. Uh, Django, Django, you want to start? Be First, one-eye Django. Okay. One-eye Django. Go for it, so, baby. So, let's do this in my style. Go. Go. <laughs> Oh! Here's my shooter, that's why I pick him. Oh! That's why I pick him. Oh, go closer, go closer. Oh, yeah? This ah. one and a half point from here. There you go! Oh. Ah. Maybe. I got it, I got it. Ah. That works? That works? <laughs> oh! You scored yet, huh? Nobody has scored Nobody yet. Until now. Except Django. <laughs> Oh, it didn't break, it doesn't count. <laughs> Alright, that's one point. Oh, here we go. Oh, Ready? Give me one. Oh, 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 this is a half point. Alright, we all go for it. Well, let's just all go for it. Here we go. Ready? Okay. One, one, two, two three. three. We are bad, man. We are yeah. bad. We, are. we, 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 we won a good match here. So yeah. We won. Yes. So you were the only one that scored a point, man. The only Thank one you. that scored Thanks. a point. Congratulations. You've seen the guy. He's got a beard, a shaved head, and a big body covered with some rather weird tattoos. The good news is he is not a member of the Yakuza. The bad news is he's our reporter. Django. Tirchich. <laughs> Django, where are you at? Come on out here, sir. Django, Django. Yo. <laughs> How you doing today, Django? I'm fine. Ooh. And you? <laughs> okay, I see. So that's how it's gonna be. Well, welcome, Django. Now it's your moment. Tell me, what is your <laughs> report about? Yo, Bobby. I mean, I don't want to raise the expectations, you know. Mm -hmm. But today I have two things for you. Two. Actually, I had three, but you kicked me out from the first. You remember? Yeah, I, I do remember. Uh, Django, can we just let that go? That's sort of, you know. Ah, oh, sure, Bobby, sure. Okay, let's just see my report. I mean, my double report. Uh, Django double dribble, double report. You mm. know? Yeah. See it. Uh, can't wait. <laughs> 
Buongiorno cari amici e benvenuti a Django Speciale Report. Yes, my friends, today is Django Speaks Italian because today's report is about Olympia Milano. Today we're gonna have a small talk with three of their top players. They're Americans. We will see the level of Italian they have. This is a special mission for... Django. Il professore. Grazie mille. <laughs> Today we're gonna have a first class of Italian. Huh? <laughs> What's your level of Italian? I, th I think we're uh, beginners, for yeah. sure. For sure, beginners. So imagine tomorrow we won by 20 points. Okay. Yeah? I hope, I hope so. <laughs> okay. It'll be great. Abbiamo vinto di 20 punti. Abbiamo vinto di 20 punti? Oh yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So <laughs> and you, without really? reading? Abbiamo vento di 20 punti. Yes, oh yeah, yes, man. Yes, oh yes, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Well done, Caleb. Well <laughs> done. Yeah, yeah. This is okay. Grande, grande, grandissimo. Bello. Final question. We lost by 20 points. You know? So, how you would say that in Italian? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Beep. <laughs> Sono triste perché abbiamo perso con una differenza di 20 punti. No, no, no. <laughs> ok. Sono triste perché, perché? perché abbiamo perso con una differenza di... Hai sui tuoi? 20 punti? Bravo ragazzi, oh. wow! Bravo, bravo, bravo. Bravo, bravo. Bobby! Uh, Bobby! Oh, these cats are so cute. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Do you like my professore way? Oh, yeah. Si, sì, signori, molto bene, molto bene, yeah. <laughs> well, since I've been with these three amazing Olympia Milano players, mm -hmm. I've decided uh, to come with something original, you know? Mm, cool. So I had this brilliant idea to put them to read some mean tweets about them, you know? <laughs> and wait, I had even brighter idea to call that Rose the Player. <laughs> Sorry, unsportsmanlike conduct there, Django. That's the star segment of our series. I came up with it. That's my idea. You stole it oh, from me. Oh, 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 Bobby, Bobby, Bobby. Stealing is a serious word. Yeah. Let's just say I retweeted your idea. <laughs> it's not a problem. He's a loser. Damn. Really? Who the fuck is Andrew Goudlock? Go on YouTube, baby. That's all I gotta say. It's a live action shot of Caleb Tarzewski playing basketball last night. It's a picture of a garbage can. Man, that's crazy. That's crazy, man. Oh. Milan is playing great offensive and defensive basketball, and, he do, and he's doing it not by chance. Without Theodore and Goodlock in the field, basket day. Hashtag Milano Brescia. Okay. No, I appreciate that. <laughs> Godlock, see, for example, what is it that makes Milan able to go get him? Money. Simply money. Uh, I don't want to really reply to this question, but I do like money. Can't possibly be worse than Caleb Tarzewski or whatever his name is. Well, you just spelled my name, so you probably know what it is, I mean. Please lose. How about we win? Well, I'd congratulate you, Django, if you didn't just kill one of the star segments of our show. As now it makes absolutely no sense that we roast our guests tonight. So we'll have to finish up sooner because of you. Come on, Bobby. This is a win-win situation, my friend. Oh, yeah? Yeah, of course. And that'll teach you for the next time for kicking me out of the tragic moments. Oh, get out of here, loser. <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, <clears throat> I'm sorry. That was awkward. I'm sorry you had to watch that, Kyle. He's not uh, having the best zen moment today. The only thing that can save this show right now is if we bring our guests back to help me wrap it up. Gentlemen, come with me. 
Thank you so much for, for being here. Uh, a couple of things I want to ask you to do. Uh, one is sign your jerseys, please. Okay. Uh, that is yours, Corsas? Yes. Very nice. All right, gentlemen. Uh, one last thing. Yeah, let's leave those right there. Um, I want to ask you if you can help me uh, read the, the winner of the last jersey signed by Andre Vorancevic. And the question was, what does Vorancevic do to relax? So if you guys can read it out loud, please. Okay. Yeah. Jako Koivisto. Sounds good to me. Jako Koivisto. Mm -hmm. He says this one is easy. Andre Vorancevic wrestles with polar bears or with uh, <laughs> Sir Heinz, means Kyle Heinz, That's right. for ultimate relaxation. Well, that's great. Uh, did you hear that, Kyle? This one is about you too, our biggest fan. What a coincidence. Uh, and having met Andre, we do believe he'll win against the polar bear, but against Kyle, I'm not so sure about that. Guys, don't do that because we don't want you to hurt yourselves, right? Um, anyway, Jacko, we'll be sending you the jersey to you and congratulations. Oh, and one last thing, gentlemen. Uh, you know, we have a Polaroid wall of fame here, so if we can just somehow get all three of us into this photo, right? Let's see, how can we do this? Are you in there? All right, don't forget to smile. Here we go, one, two, three, cheese! That's it for our show, guys. Um, oh, geez, there he is, there's Django. He's, um, so, if you guys want to win these jerseys signed by Johannes and Kostas, you only need to answer this question via Twitter. Why are Greek people so good at basketball? The funniest answers will get the jerseys. And that's all for our third cool EuroLeague show. We will be right back. That is not a warning. That is a threat. Thank you very much. Kyle, good night. All right. Oh, come on. One zero. Oh, throw me the ball. Oh, come on. Oh, it's me and you again. Together. Come on. Come on. Come on. Where'd he go? <laughs> ah, this is not fair. Come on. Come on. All right. All right.